gamers! Welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, and today we're going to be having the battle of the four armies. At the bottom left, we have the Ancient Faction, which is going to be comprised of 300,000 Romans, 300,000 Spartans, and 300,000 Persians. At the top left, we have the Armies of Evil, which is 1 million zombies and 1,000 trolls. At the top right, we've got the Gunpowder Era Armies, which is 10k shotgunners, 10k assaulters, 10k German soldiers, 50 Shermans, and 50,000 Redcoats. Then at the bottom right, we've got ourselves the Medieval Army. Uh, over here, we've got ourselves 200,000 archers, 250,000 footmen, and 50,000, sorry, 5,000, 50,000 would be a lot, 5,000 catapults. I have tried to balance these armies as best I can given uh, their melee capabilities and ranged capabilities and their just general strength. So we're going to see how this actually ends up going. Please be sure to comment down below who you think is going to win this battle. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 500,000 subs. And be sure to hit that like button. Helps me out a ton. Either way, let's get into this battle, boys. Alrighty then gamers, here we go. The battle is commencing. So here's the ancient army starting off over here and running. It looks like uh, half of their force towards the evil army up north, while also some of their uh, forces are heading over here to the east against the medieval army over this way. Now, there are some distinct advantages uh, and disadvantages for each of these armies. I think the uh, gunpowder army has Definitely the least troopers by far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They only have 79,000. The next lowest is 451,000, which is the medieval army. And both of those armies are so low in terms of trooper numbers because they have ranged units. So the uh, armies without any ranged units get more units because obviously ranged is going to be a little bit better, especially on an open battlefield like this, than melee units. Now here we go, it looks like over here we're going to have the first of the fighting and we're just going to make it there in time to check out, it looks like a mix of Persians and Spartans fighting against a million zombies and there are trolls in here too, don't see any yet, I think they're further back, but there are trolls uh, in there, not very many trolls because we know the trolls are super, super powerful, same goes for the Shermans, we know the Shermans are super, super powerful, so there's only 50 Shermans and like a thousand trolls, uh, not exactly huge staggering numbers, but either way it's kind of odd to see the Persians and the uh, Spartans fighting alongside each other here, it's like that Lord of the Rings meme where he's like, uh, I never thought I'd be fighting with a dwarf. And then it's like, what about fighting with a friend? Yeah, I'm a nerd. All right, let's check out this side of the battlefield. All right, over this way, it seems like the World War II armies, uh, well, the gunpowder armies, rather, are getting into a full-on engagement with the archers. There's a whole hailstorm of arrows coming on in here, and it looks like many of the shotgunners are already dead uh, for the gunpowder forces over this way. There's also a ton of of redcoats now charging in and their shermans backing them up as well only 50 shermans because shermans are obviously very very powerful units um and it looks like yeah the gunpowder units are destroying a hefty amount of uh the medieval units over this way uh, so they are getting pretty much their salads tossed right now uh but here comes a, a grouping of their catapults coming forward hopefully those can help out take some of those shermans they they definitely can i've seen the catapults take out shermans uh with relative ease so you know, it's just a matter if they can do it while under a lot of infantry fire as well. That could be a little bit tricky. Over on this end of the battlefield, we've also got a lot of catapults. Actually, the vast majority of the catapults are over here, uh, but it looks like not very many archers went over this way. It's mainly just the footmen and the catapults, uh, and they are engaging with just a wall of uh, Persians right now, and those catapults are pelting the Persians pretty hardcore. Persians are a really bad melee unit, so I don't expect them to do very well. But in comes the Romans, who are very good against archers and catapults because their shields actually have really good defensive capabilities in this game. Are there any Spartans that are going to be joining these fellas? Um, I really just see Romans. Maybe all of the Spartans went to the right against the zombies? That might have been what happened. Maybe, maybe the Spartans drew the line at fighting with the Romans. They were like, we'll fight with Persians, but Romans? <laughs> no, sir, we're not going to be doing that today. Either way, Persians versus uh, Medieval Knights. The Medieval Knights, I think, in terms of base stats, should manage to do this. But uh, I think that the Persians, you know, will still put up a decent fight. Neither are super strong melee units. 
Check out this slow-mo catapult action. Just the sheer number of rocks being thrown by the catapults is absolutely insane here. We could watch a few impacts as they go into the Persian lines. Oh yeah, that's spicy. That's a little spice we got going right there. Not too shabby. Ooh, a couple Romans might get hit by them. Nope, they're missing. Okay, uh, well either way, the medieval army is definitely uh, doing a pretty bang up job over that way. Let's see how the ancient army is doing right now against the zombos over this way. Um, it seems like they are cutting up a lot of zombies here. They're doing a pretty decent job at the moment. Um, but, it, I mean, it's very hard to tell. There's just so many units over this way. These are the two largest armies on the entire battlefield, the uh, zombies and the ancient armies. So, basically, it's just going to be a massive mosh pit of fighting over this way uh, for a hot second. Where are those trolls, by the way? Oh, they're all over here. I really think the trolls are going to go down due to the sheer amount of of uh, gunpowder units and the medieval units. I think, though, the fact that they're sending almost all of their trolls to go fight the Spartans and the uh, Persians over this way is really intelligent. That's a smart move by the evil army because uh, those are the units that are going to be most susceptible to the troll strength. It actually looks like we are going to have a few medieval uh, soldiers joining in the battlefield here, and the catapults actually launching into both the Spartans, Persians, and the zombies all at once over here, which is kind of crazy. Just an absolute mosh pit of a battle, and here we go, the Medieval Knights now connecting as well. Uh, so it's it's just chaos. These four armies are going at each other's throats from all different sides here. It, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool to see. Let's go check in on these guys over here now uh, to see how they're doing. Uh, it looks like at the moment the gunpowder units, uh, they're down to 67,000 soldiers, which is not a ton. They definitely took some serious losses. Um, and they're mowing down, it looks like, the last remaining archers up here. The archers uh, seem like they are getting a few kills here and there, but the gunpowder units have just absolutely trapped them up here. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, it looks like, I would say definitely some Shermans did probably die against the catapults. That does not look like 50 Shermans to me. Looks more like 30 or 40, so I think a couple of Shermans did end up dying in that battle right there. But right now, the gunpowder units are just kind of chilling on their hillside. They're not actually moving. Sometimes it does take the AI a little bit to figure out where they want to go next, um, so maybe they're just doing that. But actually, it's a smart move by them to hold back and let the other armies fight. Because they have the least number of units on this entire battlefield, uh, You know, letting the other armies duke it out for a little while and just keeping their forces alive is going to be very, very important. And right now, I will say, I think, uh, you know, these three armies all fighting each other at once is not exactly good for them. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Not only do these Spartans have to deal with, like, an entire horde of zombies before them, they've also got to deal with these dang catapults firing into their sides. Yeah, that's kind of brutal right there. Um, and it looks like the Medieval Knights have made a breakthrough over this way. It's just this little gap where the Spartan army and the Roman army are separated from each other. So it's it's a hard little area to hold out on. Uh, and it looks like over this way, the Romans are just trickling in so much. They have a lot of troopers back here. But they're trickling in so much that they're not really creating much of a front line, which also makes it very, very difficult for them uh, to do anything here. And, and the Medieval Knights are able to just continually slaughter them as they come forward instead of them being able to uh, form a nice line there and get stuff done. Of course, over this way, uh, the Romans are getting peppered by arrow fire, but you can see all of them dinking off. Barely any Romans over here are actually dying due to this arrow fire. Most of the arrows are just dinking off, which is really good for them. So it looks like some archers did go over that way too. I think right now on this battlefield, however, we are seeing the power of ranged units in this game uh, I mean it's just it's such a distinct difference between uh, being a ranged unit and being a melee unit it, it just makes all the difference in the world the battle between the ancient armies and the zombies is continuing to tear it up over this way um, and it looks like the Persians are struggling actually against the zombies but then you come over here to the Spartans uh, who seem to be doing a lot better against the zombies. Well, this is a mix of Persians and Spartans over here, but the further over this way you go, the more Spartans there are. But you can see the Spartans are on top of the body mound here, which is usually an indicator that they're actually winning the battle and they're pushing the enemy back. So the Spartans are doing great against the zombies. The Persians are definitely struggling against the zombies. And actually, you can see this by the numbers too. Over this way, there's a thick line of Spartans, but then over this way, there's a very thin line of Persians. Uh, so the Persians are kind of dropping the ball a little bit here. 
definitely a little bit but here comes the medieval army coming around the flanks now with their knights uh, and they're gonna start tearing it up behind now I think oh here we go all right, the gunpowder unit's getting involved in the battle yet again against zombies, it seems, right now. Zombies running up to them, and uh, it looks like they're actually taking a few chunks out of these guys. Uh, so they are letting them get close enough, but still, they're mowing down zombies pretty good here. I think they should be able to resist uh, this amount of zombies. I think, really, what's allowing the medieval units to go so hard in this battle right now is the fact that their sort of parallel unit to them was the gunpowder units and they sent a force to go deal with the gunpowder units it got knocked out pretty quick and now the gunpowder units are basically just ignoring them and going for zombies although who are these guys who are these guys oh these are red coats these are red coats and u.s soldiers oh there's a ton of them oh they must have gone up that hill to kill the last of the medieval units and now they're gonna go into the back of the medieval units over here this could single-handedly save the ancient armies from getting completely destroyed by the medieval units. That that could be really, really big right here. Let's look at the standings real quick. Right now there are still 325,000, um, I think that's the ancient army, and then 245,000 medieval army, and then 664,000 zombies, and then 67,000 gunpowder units. I believe those are the numbers. They label them Team 1, Team 2, Team 3, Team 4, so it's a little bit hard to tell sometimes. Either way, tons of Spartans having to split off from their battle with the zombies and coming up against the medieval units over this way, uh, which is probably not great. It's just weakening their lines elsewhere uh, to fight the flank. The faster these ranged units come over this way, the better off they're going to be. Medieval units also going over here to fight some zombies themselves. So the medieval units, you know, they're dominating the battlefield right now. But very soon, they could be losing this battlefield because they're spreading themselves so very, very thin. Um, I think one of the main reasons the medieval units are such a powerhouse is they have both range and melee capabilities. Meanwhile, the gunpowder units only have ranged, and uh, all the other units are only melee. So I think that sort of ability to do everything on this battlefield is giving them a solid edge here. Uh, either way, the gunpowder units over here are slightly getting overrun by zombies. The zombies are killing more and more of them, um, but they're still holding out okay. Ooh, I want to see this over here. What do we got going on with the gunpowder? We got the Shermans moving in and starting to pepper some medieval knights over this way. Um, there's not really any catapults over here to deal with those Shermans, just a few, so they need to pivot more of these catapults over this way uh, to get some of these kills on these uh, ranged units over here. Looks like a few of the knights are getting close to the Shermans, but now there's going to be more infantry coming in to help out as well, so that will probably end pretty soon, uh, them getting that close to the Shermans. But here we go, uh, another front opening up here for the medieval knights not a good sign at all this is going to be really rough and here we go a ton of catapults now breaking down uh due to incoming fire these catapults have been extra helpful for the uh the medieval units thus far but now they're about to start taking some serious l's on this battlefield right now the medieval units are now split between zombies ancients and gunpowder units they are split everywhere essentially except look at this they're running a crazy flank right now into the spartan army the spartan army still having to peel off more and more units to fight these medieval footmen here um and they are thinning out their lines against the zombies more and more although back here they still still seem to be pretty solid uh going up against these fellas um trolls are finally matching over here and actually there's a there's a solid chunk of Romans over this way going up against the trolls. Trolls seem to have taken some damage. Maybe a few of them have gone down and stuff like that. Um, oh, I do see a couple of troll bodies in there. So a couple of trolls have gone down, but now they're entering in the battlefield basically fresh. I mean, the trolls have not really seen much combat going on at all during this entire thing. So they're entering into this battlefield fresh and uh, they're going to tear it up, I think, for the zombies. The zombies have been very, very mediocre this entire time just middle of the ground you know using numbers to their advantage but now they might finally have their ability to win here uh these knights fending off zombies over here by the way too the zombies are getting awfully close to those catapults over there by the way let's check in on the uh ranged units over here the gunpowder units see how they're still faring um and it looks like right now um they are they are combating some uh serious uh catapult fire and things like that 
Um, I'm seeing a lack of Shermans right now, so maybe some of the Shermans got taken out too. There's still a few, but definitely a lot of them uh, have taken losses. Um, and, and they're fighting a lot of archers as well. So it is really ranged versus ranged over here. However, the medieval units have still a bunch of knights charging them, which is actually distracting the gunpowder units, uh, which is resulting in them not being able to fire as much at the... Uh, archers as well as the catapults so a lot of advantages here for the medieval units the medieval units are doing well i didn't think they would really do this well in this battle but they they really are they're doing great um they're they're, they're fighting all sides and kind of winning all sides it's a little bit crazy look at these look at these medieval knights charging world war ii soldiers you never thought you'd see this did you boys you never did look at this craziness all of these medieval units charging absolute debauchery over here oh my god there's a lot of medieval units yeah this entire area of the battlefield has been abandoned by the way this area down here has been abandoned and now it's uh basically three different sectors we still got the range units over here i think still fighting zombies oh no i think they defeated a lot of the zombies and now they're moving into the city over here interesting tactic um they could run a pretty powerful flank over this way too uh oh more medieval knights going up against more zombies over here are they still getting a solid flank on these Spartans? Yeah, they're still doing a solid flank against these Spartans. Absolutely crazy, this battle, man. Uh, I do want to do a little bit of a time lapse because that's something that people really seem to be enjoying. I'm thinking we do a time lapse maybe on the edge of three different battlefields right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a time lapse of these zombies fighting the Spartans with the medieval knights in the background. And uh, this is just so, you know, people who really enjoy the time lapses of these get, get a little taste of that. You know, I like to do a little bit of everything for people in these videos. So let's cue the time lapse. All right, gamers, so during that time lapse, the medieval army did break through the bottom line of the zombies and the Spartans there. Uh, and now more and more Spartans are having to split off and more and more zombies are having to split off too. So it's pretty much pandemonium. I wanna check on the trolls up here. Uh, the trolls broke the Romans uh, along with the zombies and are now fighting their way through Spartans on the flank. Oh, it, the ancient army got the worst of it during this entire battle, man. The, the ancient army had a horrible time, I, I have to say. They, they really got messed up here. Let's go check on the gunpowder units up here. Right now, they're down to 49,000 soldiers left alive. Um, but it seems like they are surrounding right now the uh, medieval archers up here. They've taken out all of those catapults, so they're actually doing pretty well for themselves up here. I think we got to watch some of this archer glory going on over here. <laughs> they run up over the hill to get their shot off and then immediately get decked. Oh, but I do love a good archer volley, man. I gotta do more archer videos. They're so fun. Archers are so sick. Mm, I love them. <laughs> All right, well, plenty of arrows coming into these guys over here, these folk. Uh, but I think that these archers are probably going to bite the dust over this way. Uh, why don't we zoom on over this way real quick. By the way, pro tip, if you bought the game, um, and you press R, it lets you go faster in RTS mode than standard mode. But here we go, the gunpowder units finally entering in the battlefield over this way, and they are cutting into the medieval units over here. Medieval units are responding with catapult fire, uh, but this is only, I think, a fraction of the catapults. Yeah, there's a ton more catapults over here, so, uh, you know, they could be into some trouble when they come up that way. Uh, actually, wait. Where's the- oh, oh, okay, the rest of the fight's going on over here. Yeah, here we have the Spartans, the Medieval Knights, the Zombies, and where are the Trolls? There are the Trolls. <laughs> the poor Ancient Army, man. The Ancient Army, I feel bad. I feel bad for the Ancient Army, man. They, they got just rolled. Everyone targeted them. Everyone hard targeted the Ancient Army. It's really, really a tough thing. It, it do be tough. It do be tough out here. Um, oh, there's a bunch of catapults over this way. Oh, they're going to try and go up against, uh, looks like some more gunpowder units that are coming up this way here. Uh, that's kind of interesting, so we will have a little bit more combat. Oh, this poor red coat. What did you, why'd you go all the way out there for? Oh, what a fool. <laughs> what a dingus. What a dingus. There's only one way to describe that man, and it is dingus. All right, here comes some catapult fire. That's going to wipe out a number of them. Um, and then here we go mad dash up to the top over this way. We've got medieval knights coming up against these guys um, Now the gunpowder units have fought um, 
zombies and medieval, but they have not fought the ancient army. I don't know if they're going to get the chance to. They've got to go through all of this to even get to the ancient army. And the ancient army might be dead before that happens because of just all of this that's happening right now. The medieval army really has come out of this thing as a powerhouse, and I think that's just because they're just so capable in all aspects of this battlefield. Let's go check on the, uh, the medieval archers up here. They're still hanging in there. They are still hanging in there, but not by a lot. <laughs> they, they got pretty quickly wiped out. Uh, at the very least, I think they did get some, some decent kills on uh, some of these gunpowder units and uh, probably weakened them a good bit. The gunpowder units only have 40,000 soldiers left alive. They're almost halfway through their units. Uh, right now, the uh, ancient army only has 7,000 soldiers left. They're all the way up here. Uh, there's still 153,000, I think, medieval units, and then 90,000 uh, evil units. So, you know, it, it's still anyone's game, basically, except for the ancient army. The ancient army, it's not their game. They're not gonna win this thing. It is actually just pandemonium over here. There's Spartans, there's trolls, there's zombies, there's medieval knights, there's catapults. It's crazy over here. What's going on over this way? Okay, it looks like the uh, the gunpowder units did wipe out that small force. And actually, they're going to meet up with their main force here, uh, who defeated those little catapult uh, soldiers. And uh, they've got some Shermans. They've got some Shermans still alive, and they're going to be moving up this hill. Oh, no, they're pivoting to the left over here. What's over here? Nothing. I don't know why they're doing that then. Very bizarre. Oh, here comes a, a, a detachment of catapults. Moving out to meet them too. Oh, yikes. I think the gunpowder units played this beautifully, by the way. They stayed out of the battle when they needed to, but uh, now they're coming in to sweep at the very end. We're coming into the end game now, boys, and it seems like the trolls are flanking the medieval units now with the zombies and the gunpowder units are also firing into them. We're also going to have some trolls charging the gunpowder units here. A number of the trolls dying due to the incoming fire. Oh, they might not even make it to them. There's just such concentrated fire on these boys. Ooh, that's tough. I don't know. It's coming down to the wire. I think it's either going to be the trolls or the gunpowder units who win this thing. I think the medieval army has been successfully sort of beaten back here. Here we go. Zombies and trolls just destroying a lot of these catapults over here now. Yeah, that's rough, that's rough. Even though the, uh, you know, the gunpowder units only started with 70,000 units total, they've still managed to, to stay alive for a really, really long time. They've lost about half of their force, uh, but they're still just killing it in this game. I mean, they have done a phenomenal job through and through. It's really, really pretty impressive, actually. I think they played it right, and also, I mean, just the range capability is so, so, so good. Um, but beyond that, I mean, truth be told, they, I mean, they started with one-tenth of everyone's force, of, of, of each faction's force. If you add all the enemies together, they started with, like, one-thirtieth of what everyone else had. Um, so, it, it's pretty impressive. Oh, they're killing a few of these Shermans over here. Um, it's pretty impressive what they've managed to do, even though uh, they're still probably the most powerful units. It's, it's still pretty impressive to me. All those trolls died to them. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a victory for the range units. They still have uh, half of their force, and then there's only 40 uh, medieval units left alive, just these catapults over here. They might get a few more kills. Um, and then also there's still 315 zombies somewhere. Oh, maybe up here there's still a fight going on? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of glitched zombies and trolls up here. 314 of them, to be exact. So, the range units pretty much win this thing, um, and the number of kills the range units got is 338,000. The number of kills that the ancient army got is actually the most, which is 883,000, which is extremely impressive. And then the medieval army got 429,000 kills. And the, finally, um, zombie slash evil army got 228,000 kills. So actually, the ancient army got the most kills, and that's probably because they were totally surrounded. These guys are glitched over here. We're going to end the battle here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, congrats to anyone who voted for these guys to win. You were right. Uh, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.